Stanley is one of the most boring engines on the island of Sodor. He has no special job, no personality, and he's never done anything particularly notable. He spends most of his time just shunting cars in the yard. One day, Stanley realized that he was boring. Oh, Harvey, just the engine I'm looking for. Could you lift those crates over there? Mm -hmm. I wish someone would say that to me. Oh, Harvey, just the engine I'm looking for. But that's not what I meant. I need to find my own unique job so I can stand out to Sir Topham Hat. So, another successful Saturday. How's everybody feeling? I'm good. I'm all right. My day was great. Whoa, Slow what down. the? Whoa, whoa. Uh, wait, wait. What? Percy, are you all right? Why are you going so fast? <sighs> I'm sorry. I, I guess I fell asleep while I was on the move. Sir Topham Hat gave me so many more jobs this month. I I've just been exhausted. Hey, Percy, are you a bicycle? Because you're looking too tired. Oh, uh, I also have to take the mail today. I'm never going to get to sleep. I can take it for you while you're doing extra jobs. Really? Yeah, sure, anything to help out a friend. All right, Stanley, I see you. That's good. Oh, yeah, good job, Stanley. Thank you so much, Stanley. And so, from that night on, Stanley took the mail train. super fast uh, and it's been a hot minute since i talked to birdie anyway hey same with me well i suppose it's a good thing then that the tourist season is pretty much over hey you can see that one again well i suppose it's a good thing then that the tourist season is pretty much over hey you can see that one again no i'm good all right okay yeah, I mean, less tourists means less passengers and less work, so hopefully engines like Percy can get their regular jobs back on schedule. I mean, come on, this is just ridiculous. We got people doing like four or five jobs a day. Come on now. Hey, true. Do you even know who's been delivering the mail now? <laughs> Dude, I don't know. It could be anybody. I mean, there's so many engines on the island now. Hey, but whoever it is, they've done a mighty fine job. Oh, oh, agreed. Yes, yeah. Whoa, whoa, what's going on? Hey, Stanley, how's it going? You all have work in a few hours. Why are you up right now? Yeah, we just wanted to say hi Dude, to you. Dude, you know, eh? way too loud, Dodge. Oh, oh, my bad. We just want to say goodnight to you. I mean, usually we all go to sleep together, but because of the mail train. You're doing a great job. We just can't see you that often. We miss getting to talk to you, Stanley. Thanks, guys. I'm just, I'm actually quite worried that I'll lose my job pulling the mail. What? Dude, you're like really good at it, and... Isn't it Percy's job anyway? I just need all the sleep I can get. I don't know if I have time to talk. So oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Good night. Good night, yeah, Stanley. Yeah, good night, Stan. Yeah, good night, Stan. I'll see you Shh. tomorrow. Yo, calm down, dude. Oops. Hey, Stafford. I'm ready to take the mail. Good evening, Stanley. So Topham Hat wanted me to tell you that Percy's good to take the mail again. What? Yes, you have a full day off now. I suppose tomorrow you can get back to shunting trucks with the rest of us. Um, I'm be... I'll, I'll be back. Oh, make sure to be here tonight, because the other shunters and I were planning a... Oh, dear. With this news, Stanley immediately began searching the island for Sir Topham Hat. And he didn't have to look for long. I never would have expected this behavior from you, Diesel. Sir, what behavior? This is reasonable, okay? No, Listen, I told you I... to take a goods train. That was your job for the day, not whatever this is. Well, 
Sir, this is really useful. Dude, what? Uh, what no. a terrible idea. Hey, it wasn't even my idea, all right? Jeez, it was the elephants. Ask him. Okay, you have caused confusion and, miraculously, no delay. See, I don't have any sinister motives. I just wanted to take this elephant from its home at the zoo, drive it around in an open wagon, and put it in Dennis's shed to see if he notices. What the heck? Actually, that is kind of sinister. <sighs> uh, wait, pause one sec. Stanley, is there something you need? Yes, sir. Uh, I, I was wondering, did you mean to take away my job with the mail? Oh, I didn't even know you were taking the mail until yesterday. Uh, I already have backup engines. I just gave it to Oliver. Oh. You're not really the engine I'm looking for. But, sir, ask anyone. I've been doing a great job. Right? Uh, I guess. I, I haven't really heard anything. There's more important things than you right now. Uh, let's not make this complicated. Just stay in the shunting yard. Okay, sir. That evening, Stanley came home to an unusual sight. Hey, Stanley! How you doing, Stan? You. Hey, guys. I guess you've heard the news. Yeah, dude! Yeah, Stafford told us. As previously stated, we're beyond excited that you're going back to working in the shunting yard. Exactly. That's why we stayed up late to throw you a party. Party? Wait. You guys did this just for me? Of course. We haven't been the same without you. I've been looking at this all wrong. This whole time I've been trying to do a special job to get Sir Tupham Hatt's approval. When I already have four great friends who appreciate me as I am. You're so right. We are great. Oh yeah, speaking of great, the other night I saw two raccoons in the street fighting over an apple core. What the heck? Stanley, we don't care if you've got an important job or not. We'll always be your friends. And same to you. I I'm sorry I didn't realize sooner. Let's get back to partying. Yay! And so, Stanley ended the day on good terms, knowing that, no matter how boring he may be, he would always have his friends by his side.